on two hour neuron checks and call me immediately for any signs of increased ICP. Got it. Nice job. Thanks. I don't know I was against it, but it looks like you were right. I think you gave a couple more time together. I don't care what you think. I mean, you stop. You don't have any right to an opinion. And you certainly don't have the right to bully me. Bully you? You don't have the right to give me ultimatums about when to come home and make up my mind. Okay. For better or for worse? That's what you said? Well, guess what? This is the for worse. And you don't have the right to just decide that I don't have myself together, okay? You, you don't make me the one who is wrong. I am tired of being the messed up one, okay? Because I'm not. You are at least as messed up as me. You disappeared. You are suffocating me. That is unfair. Really? I would love to ask Christina how suffocated she felt by you, by your needs, by your idea of a baby, by what you want. All right. Stop. Not here. I only wanted the same thing you said you wanted. You told me. Okay, why do you even want a baby? Have you asked yourself that? What? Why do I want yes, a baby? Yes, yes. What do you need that you don't have that you think a baby is going to bring you? I want a family. You have one. You and me, that makes one. What else? What do you need? I mean, it's normal no, to No, you don't get to call what is normal. You don't know. You want a dream, Owen. And when you have a child, you might not get to have what you asked for. You get what you are given. Then it might be wonderful. And it might be painful. And it might be both. I know you're scared, but... I mean, I think you'd be an amazing mom. I was already an amazing mom, Owen. For better and for worse. Are you here for that? Are you here for that? Or do we just play by your rules, by your normal rules? Because that's not life. It's not a marriage. Not one that's going to last.